is it time to kind of maybe take a step back, take a deep breath, or are there real red flags that we're seeing because of the yield curve? I think it's more of the former. I mean, we've seen this before, and the yield curve, I mean, it could be like 18 months out before you even see a recession or the market even goes down. It's like, what do I go on vacation for a year, come back, and then look at my portfolio? Also, if you look at the late 90s, you had 95, 98, and 2000, you had inverted yield curves, and the market had a phenomenal run there. So, I, you know, I think we, there's a lot of weight right now in that inverted yield curve, but I think it's kind of, uh, you know, it's an overreaction in my opinion. And Ryan, you said that, you know, some of the sell-off that we're seeing today is a bit of profit-taking. I mean, you look at what happened yesterday in the markets. We saw a big right. rally on the back of some tariff relief. Um, is this actually a good opportunity to get in? I mean, absolutely. Like, what's changed? We just talked about the fundamentals. I mean, look, and that's what you have to look at, right? GDP is relatively strong, and, you know, it's slower than last year, but last year we had a tax break, so it was kind of artificially engineered to be a bit higher. This is the normal growth we've had for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. You've got, inf you know, you've got inflation low, which is excellent for the consumer, and I think we don't talk enough about that. The consumer is in, like, the best shape they've been in in a very long time. They're not leveraged like they were before 2007. Um, people are actually, like, paying down debt, which is shocking in America. Um, so I think when you look at that and you look at the fact that this is the second sell-off we had this year, we hadn't had many opportunities to actually get into the market. Like, you've got to take advantage of these opportunities. They just don't happen yeah. that often. Uh, when you look at sectors, one of the biggest decliners on the day are financials, which is not surprising given um, that we're seeing the yields come down. Is this the time to get in on the big banks? I mean, they've entered correction territory. Do you go in now, or is the expectation that it's going to push yeah. even lower? I use this line too often, but I think it's a gift from the gods. Because um, we're talking about yields, and I mean, you look at how meager yields are on bonds now. It's mm. just getting silly. And if you look at stocks right now, I mean, the yields on financials specifically are so good. You're getting like 3 4% yields. You've had a lot of stock buybacks. Um, you've also had a lot of increases in, on the dividends, which will probably continue. So a little bit of weakness in earnings, I would say, like take advantage of it right now. Multiples are very cheap on banks and definitely buy. If you look at the picture globally, I mean, the, the U.S. Treasury is still <laughs> yielding yes. much better than what we're seeing, uh, like the German boon, for example. Um, how much of, of what we're seeing in the global picture, the bond picture, is distorted because of central bank buying? I think it's, it's what started it, but we were talking about this offset. I mean, you have literally almost $500 billion going to bond funds this year. And so that's a lot of that's retail money just being completely irrational. And I start looking at, I'm going to get a negative yield on a German Bund, and I could buy like a basket of high dividend paying European stocks paying like 5 6% right now. Like at some point, you have to say, this is crazy. There should be some money going into equities here because equities, again, are just so cash flow rich.